Hello everyone, I hope you're having a lovely day. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm doing a Fussy Cut Collection Series. Once a month I do a Fussy Cut Collection Series. And today I've decided to use this Simple Stories collection here. This is called Plaid Dad. And I thought that Dad's day is next month. Well, tomorrow is next month, but <laughs> yeah, we have a couple weeks before Dad's Day is here, so I thought well, this would be perfect to make a few cards. So this is the collection here. You get two double-sided sheets, 12 by 12 sheets of pattern paper. So you get plaids, of course, it's called Plaid Dad, but then you also get two cut-apart sheets, and this is the reverse side of the cut-apart sheet with some more plaid. So a few images in here to cut out to create my cards. In fact, today I made 12 cards using this collection and I had lots left over to make plenty more, but we're gonna make a few guy cards. So we're just gonna jump, oh, I wanted to show you too. This collection not only comes with papers, it comes with a sticker sheet. So stickers come in handy, but you have the little tool chest and some plaid shirts, perfect for dad. And so we're going to use a few of these stickers also to embellish our cards. What I like to do is fussy cut everything out and then I'll take my Distress Ink, this is Vintage Photo, and I just go around all the edges of all the elements that I fussy cut out. So we have quite a few, a lot of fun sentiments. So um, this one here was actually um, a 2 by 3 inch square that I trimmed down and I cut the circle out of. And I just cut the shirt off of this was a four by three inch cut apart. So I just trimmed them down to make sure that they would fit on my card bases. So we're going to set everything aside and jump in with our first card. Um, actually, we're not going to do that yet. We are. What I like to do when I use 12 by 12 pattern papers, it just makes it easier for me to die cut is all um, quarter them. So I turn them into six by six inch pattern papers. So if you see me pull out a sheet, that's just what I did. So now we're already jumping into card number one. I cut down a strip of this pattern paper and I'm just going to adhere it to the piece of white cardstock. And then this was actually part of the, um, the solid background from one of the cut aparts. I'm going to use a strip of this. I needed something kind of like a landing. I'm going to be using the tool chest that we fussy cut out, so I thought um, a solid piece of pattern paper would, or solid piece of paper would work better. So I'm just going to adhere that right on my plaid using my tape runner, and then I'm going to cut everything out with a stitched rectangle die hair. This way they're stitching all the way around, and it look, always looks finished to me, so I like that. So here's my little tool chest. Now. I'm going to take a piece of posty tape and cut out a, th a real thin strip and I'm going to place that over the handle of the tool chest and then I'm going to grab my Versamarker. This is a Versamark pen that you can use for embossing and so I thought it'd be fun to add some silver embossing powder to all the um, gray elements on the tool chest just to create more like a metal effect. So I'm just going to go over it. This is Simon Says Stamps Fine Detail um, Silver Embossing Powder. So I'm just going to go ahead and melt that and my tools are going to become nice and shiny. It, oh, it's not fine detail silver. It's actually ultra fine silver embossing powder. <laughs> Whoopsie. But there we have it. And I think that adds just a little extra something to my tool chest. Okay, we're going to add some foam tape behind here. And then we're going to pop this up and place that on our panel. Okay, this is going to go on a standard A2 size card basis. All 12 cards today are going to be using, I'm going to be using top folded um, folding A2 size card bases. That's just going to go right in the center, if I can center it. <laughs> okay, now there's a little heart sticker that matches the tool chest. So I put that on there. I just popped it up with a piece of foam tape. And then I grabbed one of the stickers for uh, the sentiment. This one says coolest dad ever. And I did add a piece of foam tape behind that, placed that right on the bottom. And that finishes off my first card. Okay, now for card number two, I'm going to create a panel using another stitch rectangle die. And I'm going to use a piece of silver mirror cardstock. The ones that I like are from Stampin' Up. Um, 
I think they're very inexpensive, but they, they work great. But I just cut out a frame with that, and I'm going to use these elements for this card. Basically, all my cards for, for this Fussy Cut collection are pretty simple. Um, I try to keep them um, um, copyable, caseable, and so um, keeping them simple was, um, was, was best, I thought. Um, I'm just attaching these three little sentiments. It says the myth, the legend, the dad. I think it says the dad. The man. There we go. And I, I kind of put them wonky behind my frame. And then using my tape runner, I'm going to attach my papa bear here. <laughs> okay. Now we're just going to turn this over, add some foam tape, and then we're going to adhere this panel to my card base. And then we're going to pop the frame panel right in the center. Very quick and easy card, but I think it was fun. Um, man cards, it's hard for me not to add bling to or add bells and whistles, so I had to restrain myself. But I, I ended up giving in for a couple of them, but um, I know men don't like bows or ribbons or, or sequins, so this was... Um, a little tough for me <laughs> but I adhered a piece of the pattern paper to the bottom of my card base for this card I'm going to use a side folding card base now I grabbed an arrow die that I had in my stash and I'm going to cut out three arrows with that using different pattern papers now <clears throat> once we have those all cut out I'm going to use this um, cut apart here and again I just trimmed it down so so it would fit my card I'm going to pop this up with foam tape and place that directly on my card base towards the top. And then using some foam tape, I adhered my arrows. Now the last gray plaid arrow I didn't like, so I ended up die cutting another, another one of the, the red pattern paper arrows. And I like that much better. But I just attached them around my panel. I thought since the Happy Father's Day panel had arrows on it, we'll just continue with the arrow theme. <laughs> We're going to add a few pieces of foam tape right behind the arrows that were overhanging a bit, and then I'll just trim those off. Okay, now <clears throat> I have a Jelly Roll Stardust pen. Love this pen. It adds um, concentrated glitter to anything that you write on. And so the inside of the father's um, word had white. So I went over with my, my Stardust pen in those areas. And then doing the same areas, I went over with some Morning Dew Nouveau Crystal Drops. It's kind of like a glossy accents, just to give it a little extra something. But that finishes off that card. <laughs> okay, now we're on to card number three. I cut out a panel using the, the plaid paper here and I'm going to attach this cut apart and then I also am going to grab that a strip of the gray plaid. We're going to go ahead and adhere this panel directly to our card base. For this card we're going to, going to make a side folding card base again. And then I'm going to attach a strip of the plaid just to brighten it up a bit right on the bottom. Now I also fussy cut out one of the plaid shirts, so I'm going to add that right next to my little sentiment here. And I thought this sentiment was so fun. Star sawdust is the man's glitter. Is the man glitter? <laughs> I thought that was so fun. So I just attached my plaid shirt, and then in the sticker sheet there was a smaller tool chest or toolbox. So I'm going to pop this up with some foam squares. When it's a sticker and I like to pop it up, what I do is I'll add my foam squares and then I'll, I'll use my anti-static powder tool. And then um, I'll take away all the tackiness. And then um, that way it just sticks better here. Place that in the bottom corner. 
and then to just make this I have to do something I need some bells and whistles so I decided to go in with some silver um, nouveau glitter drops I think this is silver moon dust and I'm going to add those to just the tool the gray tool portion on the in the tool chest oh and then the buttons on the plaid shirt so quick and another quick and easy card but um, I guess man cards are mostly quick and easy <laughs> but there's that card okay now for card number five I cut out another piece of the silver um, mirrored card stock for my stash and then I'm going to attach a plaid panel right in the center and then I'm going to pop this panel up this was part of the cut aparts it says the best dads have beards um, actually none of the dads in my family have beards <laughs> so but if you have a dad that has a beard this card would be perfect now in the sticker sheet there's a beard that coordinates with the beard on this um, cut apart and so it's just slightly smaller so I just pop that up with a foam square and we're going to place that right on top of the beard that's on that panel there we go now we're going to add foam tape behind it and then put that on our card base right in the center it's going to leave a quite a bit of a white border but clean and simple and that finishes that card okay now we're going to move along to card number six card number six i cut out a frame with a red plaid pattern paper now i'm going to add some foam tape behind the entire frame and I'm going to use these two pieces that we fussy cut out. I can actually turn this piece into a tag. So just to give it a finished look, I added a, a black eyelet. And then I'm taking some black jute cord and I'm just threading it through. Now I'm going to remove the backing off of my foam tape. And then this is going to go directly on my card base. Once we have that adhered, I am going to add foam tape behind my tag, and that's going to go in the center. And then we're going to add some foam tape behind the sentiment, and then that's going to go at a diagonal right across my tag. It says, cool as dad ever. And I kind of, you can see I kind of looped my twine behind my tag to the other side. Okay, now in the sticker sheet, there are some glasses that almost pretty close fit the glasses on this tag here. So I'm just going to add that to sharpen the glasses a little bit. And then I'm going to take some um, of my Nouveau crystal drops. These are, this is again morning dew. And it, it's going to dry clear. So it's going to give me some clear glasses there. And then I'm going to take my Jelly Roll Stardust pen and go around the silver on the suspenders here. And that's it for that card. Now for card number seven, I cut out a panel here and then I cut out a one inch strip using the gray plaid. Now I'm going to fishtail the end of this and then I'm going to adhere this fishtail to the left side of this panel. Okay, I added some foam tape behind here and then this is going to go directly in, my, in the center of my card base. I wanted to make sure that the top of my fishtail banner hits the top of my card base. And I did trim down my fishtail on the bottom and hung over just a little bit. Now I cut out a circle using the, the plaid shirt pattern paper and I just trimmed off one end. I'm going to adhere that to the very top and then using this sentiment I thought it would go perfect right in the center of my circle. Now here's where I had to add something. So I'm, I went in with some, I had some um, almost dulled uh, goldish sequins. So I just added a few here and there. So it wasn't too much bling, but it was enough. <laughs> now for this card, I decided to make a shaker card. So I'm just going to add a piece of acetate behind this fussy cut element here.
and then I did add some foam tape around the entire thing. Now I grabbed some sequins from my stash. These are some red ones, and then I have some almost see-through red ones. I'm going to add, I'm going to kind of create my own little mix, so I'm going to add these red ones, and then I have some little silver stars. I'm going to add some of those. And then I'm going to leave a few out because we're going to embellish the outside of, of this card with a few of the silver stars. And I'm just taking a piece of white cardstock and I'm going to cover my, the backing of my shaker. And then we'll remove the tape off of the foam or remove the foam backing. I'm just using my craft pick to stir it up a little bit. I'm going to place that right on the back. And we have our cute little shaker. And I think the colors just go really well together. And it, I think it's, even though it is a shaker card with some some sequins, I think it still looks a little bit masculine. And then I had to ruin it. I added, um, this is some gray twine that I have in my stash. I just tied a bow on the bottom portion of my, my panel there. And then, so I know guys don't probably like bows, but I couldn't resist. <laughs> Now I added the little coffee cup that says number one dad, just popped it up and placed it on my shaker. Now this is going to go in the center of my card base here. And then I'm going to take those little extra star sequins and I'm going to just add a few around my card base. And that completes that card. Okay, now for card number nine. I'm taking this plaid paper, and now I have some um, rounded corner um, rectangle dies. Now I'm gonna cut out a super duper thin frame. And then I also cut out a panel with the red and black checkered paper. Now this was the fussy cut element that I had cut out earlier. Now there was pattern paper that coordinated with that same fussy cut piece. So I just cut out a little strip and then rounded the corners so I could extend it. I'm just going to glue down my real thin frame to my checkered paper here. And then using my tape runner I'll adhere this piece right next to my sentiment piece. And then um, I did distress the edges, so I'm going to take my vintage photo uh, distress ink and just go around that edge that we just added. Okay, we're going to flip this over, add some foam tape, and that's going to go in the center of our panel. Now we need something to cover up the, um, the piece that just doesn't look right. So I decided to grab a, a, well, about four of the stickers. I grabbed the little coffee pot, and then there's a little metal coffee cup. I'm going to add that, and then there's a thermos that I added, and then there's also a um, a bottle of pop. So I added that too, and I did distress all the edges of my stickers just so it flowed right, and I just kind of clustered them all together. I did put a little bit of that little black heart on my coffee pot. <laughs> now I just use my tape runner to adhere that to my card base. And then just for a little something, I'm going to go in with my Nouveau Crystal Drops or Glitter Drops. These are the, the Silver Moon Dust. Just around my Coke bottle and then around the bottom of my thermos. In the top, very top portion of my coffee pot there. Or coffee pitcher urn or some coffee urn. <laughs> but that finishes that card. Now for card number 10, I cut out a super thick frame using that pattern paper there. And I've, I'm going to use my foam tape to add a little bit of dimension to this card. We're just going to go ahead and adhere that to the card base. Now in the sticker sheet there was a beard. There's actually two beards. So I'm going to grab the, the one that we haven't used yet. And I was I added foam tape behind it along with the sentiment. Now the sentiment for this card says um, I actually forgot what it said. Respect the beard, I think. Respect the beard, yes. <laughs> and I thought that was so funny. But um, 
I was going to add the Father's Day sticker, but it just wasn't flowing right for me. So, I ha so I'm going to pop up the Father's Day sticker with some foam tape and place that towards the top. And then I'm going to actually remove my beard and my sentiment. And then, um, yeah, it just wasn't flowing right for me. So I'm going to remove those elements and then I'm going to grab a piece of the black and white check paper. That um, it's the same background as the Happy Father's Day, and I'm going to cut out about a one-inch strip. Now this strip's going to go um, on the bottom portion of my my window there. I'm just going to add a piece of foam tape behind there just to secure it a little bit better, a bigger piece. <laughs> There we go. And just that, that piece of checkered paper um, helped out. I thought it looked a lot nicer. But so I just reattached my beard and respect the beard sentiment. And then that finishes that card. Okay, now we're gonna move along to card number 11. Now I cut out a panel with white cardstock and I'm gonna add some of the plaid paper there. And then I did cut out a large circle with vellum. Um, this piece here was actually um, the top piece of one of the fussy cut elements that I had cut out. I just fishtailed the end. But I wanted to use these two plaid or flannel shirts. So the black and white one I'm going to attach directly to my panel and then the other one I'm going to pop up. And I'm actually going to lower the black and white one just a little bit in a minute. <laughs> but I'm going to add this to my card base. trim off the excess here and here's where I went in and I just lowered it just a bit okay now there's a sticker that's in the thought bubble that says plaid dad and I'm just gonna add some foam tape behind this and then add that to the upper portion of my card here we go and then just to finish it off, I'm going around my vellum piece with my white gel pen doing a little bit of faux stitching. And that's it for that card. Okay, now for my final card today, I cut using my um, rounded corner rectangle die, I cut out a panel and I'm going to place that directly on my card base. Now I'm going to use this element that I fussy cut out, this is Dad. And then I place that on a rectangle panel that I cut out using this, the mirror cardstock that I had showed you earlier. And then I also cut out a few um, fishtail banners with the pattern paper. Now I'm layering them um, right underneath my dad panel. And then I'm going to pop this up with some foam tape and place that a little bit towards the left of my card base. Now in the sticker sheet it said number one dad. I'm going to grab that sticker and place it on the very top and then again using those little star silver star sequins I'm going to add a few here and there and that finishes off card number 12. So these are the 12 cards that I made using the plaid dad simple stories 12 by 12 simple set um, for my fussy cut collection series. Um, I hope this gives you some ideas on um, how to create a few Father's Day cards. Um, I'll leave links below in the description area where you can get this simple story set. It's very inexpensive. I think less than $7. So we made 12 cards less than $7. Um, minus the bells and whistles that I threw in. But here's everything that I have left over. Plenty to make more man cards or masculine cards. Um, quite a few more stickers too. But um, thanks so much for stopping by guys. I wish you a fantastic day. And we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.